All right, I've taken some time to try to clean this out a little bit. You can actually see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but you can see some of the metal in there. So I'm gonna wipe that out a little bit more. And I guess I could get some brake clean and really give it a scrub, but. We've got most of it out, so I think we'll be all right. Much better than it was. So now, Got my mobile one synthetic gear oil here. I'm gonna start putting this back together. Obviously, just do it in reverse of the way we took it apart. It's really not that difficult. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on this shaft and the seal just to help it glide on there. You don't wanna tear the seal up. So gently get it centered. And if you twist it a little bit, it'll pop in. So there we go, seals in, put the bearings in. Now we're gonna fill it with oil, some good oil. This was not completely full, so I am not gonna completely fill it. We're gonna do it about there. That should splash lubricate everything. So now we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it back together. You can manually start these. Go on the high side, put some weight on it, get some threads in there. Actually, you know what, before we do that, I'm gonna put some Loctite on the bolt. All right, we're gonna put some blue Loctite on these bolts. It looks like it had some before. Not very good stuff, but put a little bit on there. Gonna get these started. Try to keep the pressure even when you're putting it together. All right. You don't need a lot of this stuff, just a little bit. Cause you gotta take it back apart. Always hand start your bolts, guys. Try to get this O-ring to start seating evenly, so you want to kind of cinch it down. You don't want to tear the O-ring little by little. I probably could have put some oil on the O-ring. A ratchet sounds a bit like a duck. All right, we're gonna snug it down. I do not know what the torque specs are for this, so I'm just gonna, we're gonna snug it, get it tight. Try to at least. There we go. Get a bit angry here. Get a better angle.
All right, they're pretty snug now. Right, I'm gonna take a little oil. I'm gonna put it on the plungers here, just to help it slide through those seals. It's pretty tight. Doesn't take much, just a little bit. So now you gotta make sure you don't lose this O-ring. So now we're gonna put it back together. Line up the holes. Gently work its way on there. And we have these bolts. We're almost done. Put just a little bit. started. Run them down. That one tightened up, a little bar. I'll just use a little punch here. A little bit of leverage, all right. She's all back together now. So, with any luck, she should last a lot longer with the good oil. I will show you guys the rest of the project here in a second. This new pump comes with this little piece. This is where you attach your wand. This one's short. One of the old ones had a longer one. Makes it a little easier to get in there. So I am going to pull this off and put the longer one on here. So we'll put the longer one on, make it easier to get to. This one is 22 millimeter. Assuming it's the same as the old one. Oh, there's a bunch of crud in there. Look at that. I mean, you see that or not? Looks like plastic. It doesn't look like any sort of sealant or anything, but it's all down in there. Hmm. We'll get some of it out. I'll just make sure to run it without a tip on it at first. You can see the stuff coming out. So we'll put the longer one on. Steals with an O-ring. Now this old one's a 24 millimeter. All right, that's pretty snug. That should be good. Now I mentioned the different mounting method versus the old pump. I had to get longer engine mount bolts because these are actually the placement that hold the motor down versus the other one that bolted into the bottom of the motor. And I needed a one inch spacer. So I had some one inch stock steel laying around. Cut it down, didn't matter. Drilled holes through them. That'll space it. So that's what we're about to do now. We're gonna remount the pump to the pressure washer. Now we've got the pressure washer up here. 
Now we are going to mount the pump. It's pretty self-explanatory. Obviously we need to get the pump under here in the right position, in the keyway. Now this motor is just sitting here. So we're gonna just slide this under without dropping it off my board bench. The keyway, find the keyway. Make sure you get it in the keyway. Might have to play with it a little bit. There we go, we're in the keyway. So I'm gonna set it down, it's gonna drop a little bit. And here's where we're gonna need our spacer and our bolts. We need to rotate the pump in the correct orientation here, which is going to be, well, looks like we're gonna point it out the front, I guess. Yep, I have to spin this around. Spin that around. Get the key back in. So we're gonna attach this. It looks like everything's gonna be coming out the front now. It used to be coming out the back on the old one, but it is what it is. So we're gonna take the bolts and put it through, use the spacer. Get one of them started. I'm gonna try to. Ah, got the one started. Go around and get the other ones done. Now I will point out, it's my fault that these are now pointing forward. I put this on backwards. But you know, I think I like it coming out the front better. So we're going to go with that. So These bolts on mine are 14 millimeter. Get them started a little bit. That one's snug, we'll get the rest of these snug and we'll tighten it down.
All right, she's back together. I'll pull her down and we'll do a test run here in a second. All right, we're gonna fire it up. See how she works. Here we go. 